All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 18 is equal to 81 to the power of x. So I want to find the value of x here. So to start, I'm going to first take the power of 1 over x on both sides. So now I have x to the power of 18 to the power of 1 over x is equal to 81 to the power of x to the power of 1 over x. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So in this case, I have x 81 to the power of x to the power of 1 over x, and I have x to the power of 18 to the power of 1 over x. So this is the same thing as x to the power of 18 times 1 over x is equal to 81 to the power of x times 1 over x. So then these two cancel out. I'm left with x to the power of 18 over x is equal to 81. Now if I subtract 81 on both sides, or sorry, actually if I subtract x to the power of 18 over x on both sides, these two cancel out and I have 0 is equal to 81 minus x to the power of 18 over x. And now I'm going to rewrite this as 0 is equal to 81 minus x to the power of 1 over x to the power of 18. So I simply wrote this like this in this form. Now if I take the power of 1 over 18 on both sides, I get 0 is equal to 81 to the power of 1 over 18 minus x to the power of 1 over x to the power of 18 to the power of 1 over 18. And then <coughs> these two cancel out, and I get 0 is equal to 81 to the power of 1 over 18 minus x to the power of 1 over x. So now if I add x to the power of 1 over x on both sides, these two cancel out, and I get x to the power of 1 over x is equal to 81 to the power of 1 over 18. Now, 81, this is the same thing as 9 squared, so now I have x to the power of 1 over x is equal to 9 squared to the power of 1 over 18. 2 times 1 over 18, that's 1 over 9, so I have x to the power of 1 over x is equal to 9 to the power of 1 over 9, meaning x is equal to 9. Alright guys, welcome back to Click Dynamics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So I have x to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 2048. So I obviously want to find the value of x here. So for my solution, I first start with x to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 2048. Now, well, 2048, this is the same thing as 1024 times 2, right? So now I have x to the power of x is equal to 2. Now I'm going to replace the value of 2048 with 1024 times 2. So now I have 1024 times 2. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m to the power of n, and this is also the same thing as a to the power of n, to the power of m. So in this case, 2 to the power of 1024 times 2, I'm going to rewrite this as 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 1048. Now, as you all probably know, 2 to the power of 2 is simply equal to 4. So now I have x to the power of x is equal to 4 to the power of 1048. And now I'm going to repeat the same thing again. So again, 4 to the power of 1048, 
sorry, this isn't 1048, this is 1024. So 1024 is equal to 512 times two. So now I have x to the power of x is equal to four to the power of 512 times two. And again, I'm gonna rewrite that as four to the power of two to the power of 512. Now again, four to the power of two, that's obviously 16. So now I have x to the power of x is equal to 16 to the power of 512. Now I'm gonna repeat the same thing again. 512, this is equal to two times 256. So now I have x to the power of x is equal to 16 to the power of two times 256 which is the same thing as 16 squared to the power of 256, which is the same thing as 256 to the power of 256, meaning x is 256. All right, so in this problem, I have 100 to the power of x is equal to 200. So I'm gonna find the value of x here. So for my solution, First start with 100 to the power of x is equal to 200. Now I'm gonna take the log on both sides. So I have log of 100 to the power of x is equal to log 200. Now if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this x1 and b to the front. So this can equal b times log a. So in this case, I can move x to the front. So now I have x times log 100 is equal to log 200. Now if I divide both sides by log 100, these two cancel out and I have x is equal to log 200 over log 100. Now, 200, that's the same thing as 100 times 2. Now, I have this over log 100. And if I have something in the form log a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So, log of 100 times 2, that's equal to log 100 plus log 2. And I have this over log 100. Now, log 100 plus log 2 over log 100, that's the same thing as log 100 over log 100 plus log 2 over log 100. And log 100 over log 100, those two simply cancel out. So now I have x is equal to one plus log two over log 100. Now 100 here, this is the same thing as 10 squared. So now I have x is equal to one plus log two over log of 10 squared. And remember, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this to the front. So now I have x is equal to 1 plus log 2 over 2 times log 10 is simply 1. And log of 2, that's equal to 0 0.301 over 2, which is equal to 1 plus 0 0.1505 which is equal to 1.1505. So this is my answer.